Um, hello. I was hesitating to making this video because I don't really want to make people better with God Human, but here we are. So, yeah. The main thing that makes God Human the best fighting style in the game is the C move, specifically when you hold it down. It does about 4,000 damage, and with the aim lock that comes included, it's almost impossible to miss. Also, if you look here, a normal fruit teleport gets you to about the middle point on the fountain. But a fully held C move goes about twice the distance just as fast. So the trick to using God Human is figuring out combos you can use with C as your combo starter. These are just a few of the sword moves that I know you can combo with after, but there's a ton of other sword moves and fruit moves that you can use that you should try to figure out on your own. This is just a couple example combos of what I'm talking about. The trick to landing most moves after is to not try to do it as fast as possible. Instead, try to make sure to take your time and aim it at you. This is not true with all moves, but most. Okay, if you really want to get the most out of God Human, you have to get good at landing your Z move after C. The first way to do this is if you're above someone when they're on the ground, you can shoot them into the ground and use your Z move after. The second way to do this is to teleport after you use your C move. But with any normal fruit teleport, this is difficult to do consistently. A better way to do this is to use a teleport that has an effect. Like with Rumbles, you can stun them. Or with Portal, you can force them through your teleport. The first two ways work if you use C as your combo starter. But this last way works for other combo starters. If you use your C move during certain stuns, there won't be any knockback at all, so you can just simply use Z right after. There's a ton of other moves you can use. Not near as good as the C move, but there's also a few ways you can use X as a combo starter. If you hit someone with X, there's a moment that they can't move, so it gives for a pretty free acid click. It's as good to do as a gun main or not, because it breaks their observation for a few seconds. The second way I like to use it is teleport on or above somebody, and right after you use X, you use Z, and you should be able to catch them before they go anywhere. I don't do this near as often as the last two, but a lot of people do this with superhuman, and it's better to do it in the air. But similar to the last one, you just teleport, but instead hold it for a second. To hit X after C every time, just aim it at the ground in front of you instead of them. A lot of people don't seem to know, but if you hold down X all the way, it can become pretty big. The distance from when you use Z and when it hits them has an effect on how much damage it does. When you hold Z and when you don't, it makes no difference but the animation. Okay, let me know if I should do more videos like this about a specific sword or fruit, or if I should do videos about entire builds. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed.